Hi World Athletics, fancy seeing you here. Dina, you're in Doha for the start of the Mona Diamond League season. How are mm -hmm. you feeling? I'm really, really excited. I feel like I've been waiting to start my season forever. So yeah, I'm excited to kick it off. It's nice and warm here. And um, yeah, it's gonna be great. What's the first thing you do when you arrive at a meet or at a city where you've never been before? Ooh, um, unpack. I know that's like the deadest thing to say, but um, I'm like somebody who has to completely unpack all my bags properly, like I'm like living there. So um, yeah, unpack and then, I don't know, normally I arrive at like night, so go to bed. <laughs> Has the Diamond League experience changed for you compared to the first time you were on the circuit? Um, I don't think the experience itself has changed um, too much. It's still like loads of flights, meeting loads of new people every single time, reuniting with people that you, yeah, your friends that live halfway across the world. But um, I mean, I'm a lot more confident now. I'm a lot more older. So that's probably changed from my perspective. But the whole thing, no, not that much. What's the best tip you could give to a newbie on the circuit? Be ready for anything. I think uh, that's the most important thing I think with Diamond Leagues because particularly like the races themselves, like sometimes, you know, we're on TV and they just go, okay, yeah, sprinters, we don't really have time for like practice blocks. We've got to keep up with the TV, so go, go, go. And you know, you just got to be really flexible. Sometimes you might think that the crowd's really noisy, but you still got to run. Might be running late, still got to run. So be flexible, be open, be ready for anything. I think that's my biggest tip. Let's talk food real quick. What's your go-to pre-race meal? Oh, I keep it really simple, like chicken, rice, vegetables. Keep it simple. No bad bellies for me pre-race, so yeah. And what happens when you have a good day and you go for a cheap meal? Ooh, cheap meal. I feel like my cheat meal varies like so often. At the moment, I think it'll be like chocolate cake. That'll be really good. How old were you when you realized you wanted to be a professional athlete? I think I was about eight years old when I realized I wanted to be a professional athlete. I watched the, oh, I feel so old saying this now, but I watched the Athens Olympics and I've always been like really competitive, like just with everything, with my family, my friends, like generally, and I like, that was when I first saw the concept of like the Olympics and the idea that you can kind of just get, be really good at something, be really talented and then compete and see who's the best every four years just sounded like so much fun to me. So I've always known that I wanted to be a professional athlete from a very young age, yeah. You touched the subject of family. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about family. Which traits did you get from your mom? I think from my mom, I got the kind of fiery, passionate, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> fiery, passionate, brave, fearless, that kind of side. Not that my dad isn't, but I feel like if people know my mom, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. She's definitely like larger than life. And what about your dad? Definitely got the cool, calm, smiley, warm, lovableness from my dad. Again, not that my mom isn't lovable, not trying to start a family feud, but um, I, I like to think that I'm a great balance of both. I hope that comes across and um, yeah. And who's your biggest fan in the family? I don't want to say, I'm trying to get hit. <laughs> my biggest fan in the family, you know what, I think all of them, um, I think all of them, I don't think I can pinpoint one, like, I feel like sometimes when I pop round to my parents' house, my dad gets embarrassed because like I've walked in on him like re-watching my race on the TV because he like painstakingly records all of them on CDs just in case like everything like collapses or like on USBs or something on his computer. It's so cute. And sometimes I catch him reminiscing and he gets really embarrassed. But um, so that's really sweet. And but uh, my mum's normally at like every single race that I do. So, you know, they're all supportive in completely different ways. Who are you most excited to share a track with? Are you in a competition or in a training session? Well, I really like racing Shelley. I think that um, I just really enjoy racing her race model. I think she's got great energy as well and it always makes a really good race. So, yeah. In your mind, what's your ideal race distance? Pro probably like... There's people filming me being filmed 
Hi, you can say hi. Hi, I see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to point you out. <laughs> see, they never let me rest in peace. But uh, my ideal race distance, I don't know. I think probably... I don't know, anything that I can win at, you know? <laughs> if I'm being honest anything that I can win at. Not a marathon, not longer than 400. Anything shorter than 400 that I can win at sounds great to me. What's your go-to activity when you're not on the track? Sleep. I love to sleep. I'm always asleep. I'm like a 10 hour a night girl. Sleep. What's the biggest difference in between getting ready for a competition or a training compared to getting ready for a red carpet? Oh, heels. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know what you were going to say. I was like, they're worlds apart. Getting ready for a red carpet. There's so many people around, so many people with like different expertise. And you know, race, it's about me. It's about how I feel. It's about what I'm thinking about. Obviously, I love to spend time on my makeup as well. But um, yeah, it's about preparing for the race. And red carpet is just about, it's about getting ready for the event, but also looking good. So very different. Who can always make you laugh? Ooh, there's a lot of funny people. There's a lot of funny people. Shamir's really funny. Fred's really funny. Um, they're funny. Yeah, let's go with them. They're in my mind right now, but they always make me laugh. What's the last list you made on your notes app? The last list I made on my notes app is all the things that I have to kind of do and think and be to, be, to do well in this race. So I'm not going to read it out just in case you put it out before the race. <laughs> But um, yeah, that was the last thing that I did. What's it like being part of a Stormzy music clip? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's such a random question. It was a lot of fun. Um, that team's great. He's great. And yeah, it was, it was cool. Yeah, it was fun. Who's your favorite musician at the moment? My favorite musician at the moment. I love SZA. I love... It's really hard. I have quite eclectic music taste. I love Doja Cat, I love Soka a lot, I love, yeah, it's hard, many. What was your favourite look at the Met Gala? Ooh, good question. I really liked Shy in Tom Brown, that was really good. I think he was the best dressed, like men and women, which I think for a men's, man to be the best dressed was great. I really liked Elle Fanning and Vivian Westwood because, is it Elle? I think it was Elle. In, the, in Vivian Westwood, because obviously like this year it's really poignant and she looked really beautiful. And I liked ASAP Rocky as well. That was really cool. But obviously like they all look fabulous, so. If you could be dressed by anyone, who would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. I think right now, um, I don't know. Um, I really like uh, Bottega right now. I think that what they're doing is really cool. Like they're making materials like denim and jeans out of leather, like other materials, which I think is just really clever. So I think that would be really cool. But that's a tough question on the spot. <laughs> What's the fashion trend we should leave in 2023? Oh, <laughs> um, fashion trend we should leave in 2023. I don't know. I think there's always space for everything at every um, place and time, if I'm being honest, you know, and I'm also one of those people that I think lots of things can look good on different personalities. So what would work for me wouldn't work for my manager, Ricky, which is right there. Also, what works for him wouldn't work for me. So I don't like saying no to everything. <laughs> you if know. you weren't an athlete, what would you be doing in life? I'd probably be a lawyer. Probably be a really badass one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite meme? Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like, you know, Kiki Palmer. There's like that, I'm sorry to that man, but I don't know, that is literally my life. I really enjoy that one. But again, there's like 50,000 that I love. Back to the track now. Which Diamond League meet has the best vibes? Ooh, which Diamond League meet has the best vibes? I think Zurich is always fun because normally, like typically when it's the last one, all the athletes are just like, I'm exhausted, let's go, let's go. The champs are done, so everybody's really friendly, really relaxed, also exhausted, 
but um, that one's normally a pretty good vibe. Um, a food and dough is great. London's at home, so I'm entirely biased, but London's always fantastic, so let's end on that one. Who's best dressed in athletics? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, skip that question. You could put that in, but skip it. <laughs> What's essential for your raise day makeup? Um, a good fixing spray, good powder, especially if you're in the Middle East. We're in Doha. Where do you keep that gold medal you won here? You know what? That's a very good question. I actually don't know. I'm, I think it's in my safe at home, but I'm not somebody that like has like everything I've won and all like the trophies and everything on display. I just, you know, when you just get sick of yourself, like in a nice way, it's just like, I'm home. It's like, I don't want to see all this. So I think it's in the safe somewhere, I hope. It could be at my parents' house. They love to present everything. So my parents have loads of stuff. Are we going to see a 10.7 from you this year? I really hope so. That would be lovely. <laughs> uh, have you got a special message for our fans on social media? I'd like to say hi to all the fans. Thank you so much for supporting us. Um, wherever we are in the world, whatever we're doing, we really appreciate you. And we can definitely feel the love. So thank you. And finally, last question. Are you ready for the World Athletics Champs in Budapest? I am. Definitely. Got to start the season first. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really, really excited. I think it's going to be a great one. So thank you. Bye.